Hello everybody and uh, today we have an example that we will solve using linear quadratic regulator in MATLAB and we will uh, output the figures and also do it in Simulink to make sure our answer is correct here is the objectives we will learn to use linear quadratic regulator and linear quadratic linear quadratic regulator is used in uh, systems that are not stable but we don't know where to put the poles unlike uh, place and acker command we know where to place the poles and the dominant pole so we use this for commands but in LQR we don't know and also LQR has a very important or unique feature is the Q and R in its function in MATLAB of course it's very hard to solve uh, manually you have to use MATLAB so Q and R they represent the importance or the cost of uh, the states and I will link uh, a very good uh, explanation by Christopher Lam also by Brian Douglas which are the most important control tutors on YouTube here is the question we are given the steady state space representation A, B, C and D the requirements is check controllability and observability use LQR to improve response and he gives us R and Q of course this can be changed and by steady I mean by uh, error trial and error we can know the best values of course depends on the cost and which states is cost more or we want it more part C we will use reference point which is n bar to improve the response of our system and we will output the figures and in part 2 we will use semi-link to verify our results let's start first we will define the system A was okay. B is uh, 1 0 ok first of all let's make this system state speed a b c d ok first let's see the response of our system we will assume t time to be from 0 to 2 this step says in this time interval as we can see it goes up to infinity and it's completely wrong and this is not a step so we need to fix this since we don't know that the, uh, the desired poles we will use a QR first of all as the question said let's check stability the eigenvalues of the matrix A will give us the poles sorry eigen we have 0 and 1 ok marginally stable actually it's not it's, it's unstable then we will define Q which is uh, C prime this is inverse multiplied by C and R as he gave us is 0 0.001 now let's check the controllability C oh, is CTRB A and B let's check the rank of it and if the rank is equal to the size that means it's controllable 2 it's controllable now let's check for the observability um, 
now the rank of the observatory two it's also observed now I will define the number of states and number of outputs nx is the number of states which is two and ny is the number of outputs as and we can see we have only one output now let's use LQR to use LQR in uh, MATLAB it gives us three values K S and E this can be solved by the Riccati equation but it's extremely difficult LQR A B the value of Q and the value of R okay let's check the most important which is the k value okay now we get the k value kx will equal the first value and ki will equal to the second value this will be beneficial in the simulink now that we found this let's check the value of k and the, its effect in our system a closed loop is equal to a minus b i mean uh, multiply by k and uh, this we call ss s is the speed a c l b c d let's check this step As we can see it's better than before it didn't go to infinity but still its steady state value is far from 1 close to 0.03 so now we need to improve the response by a reference point also called n bar there are two methods to find the n bar but the best for me it's not always accurate but I prefer to use this minus inverse C multiplied by inverse A minus B multiplied by K multiplied by B let's check okay we got the value of n bar now let's check B B is the affected by n bar is equal to n bar multiplied by b now let's check our system closed loop step response as we can see we fixed the error of 0 0.03 and now it reaches the steady state of 1 okay now let's simulate this in simulink I will output the three uh, figures we want a step again another gain here integrator Let's go. And uh, this is the first method for the any state state response value. Then we will uh, add the improvements. Me. of course we should make this will go C and its matrix A and its matrix B and its matrix this when run let's make this two it should give us the same step 
initial one which is correct it goes to infinity Now, I will copy Excuse me And I will add The end bar As a game First, I'm sorry, we should add the gain. K, matrix wise. Let's make this in point. It's taking a bit of time. Of course, this is minus. You can either make it minus or change it from here. Now let's check. As we remember, this is the optimized value by k only with it reached when it reaches 0.03 now for the last improvement which is adding the end bar Matrix wise and yes, this is the last and correct value. See the state, state reaching one. This proves the values we got in the simulator. I mean, in MATLAB. And this is how to solve problems. You should always check your answer in two different sources. Yes, thank you for listening and I hope you I uh, hope you found this video beneficial and learned something and uh, thank you